hijackers. So when somebody sells from under your listing and they put a lower um, price and they pretty much hijack your listing. So hijackers also check brand registry. So that's the first thing they do as well. They click on the brand and they say, okay, I, are they in the brand registry? If they see that, okay, this seller is in the brand registry, it's less likely that they will actually hijack your listing because, well, most likely you will be removed. But they don't know like in what country you registered your trademark, but they say, okay, yes, they have brand registry. Okay, let's let's find somebody who just began, you know, selling, who is like novice. Uh, this person is probably too experienced. So to me, that, that would be my logic. And I know that's, that's the case. That's what's uh, been happening. So those people who are in the brand registry, they don't have, uh, they don't seem to have new hijackers. Uh, but if you already have hijackers, obviously they will not go away. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think you're right with that. I think it really does. Like when people are, you know, there's tons of people out there, whether we want to like it or not, um, to that are just looking for an easy way. They're looking for an easy listing to copy or an easy product to copy so that they don't have to do all the hard work. But when you when you're brand registered, then you're protecting your listings from that. Now, it doesn't mean you're not going to have problems. I've had a couple of hijackers attempt to jump on my listings and Amazon has been, especially in the last uh, since the beginning of 2022 they've changed the language of how you can report a violation mm -hmm. and so i don't know if we can talk about that for a minute um as far as so i have brand registry and i noticed that there was a hijacker on my listing someone was listing my product and you know under the same listing and when I went to report the violation, then Amazon asks specific questions. They want you to define how this person is violating your trademark. And mm -hmm. so maybe we can touch on that for a bit, because as you're reporting problems, one of the things Amazon asks is for you to clearly define how they're violating your trademark. So in an instance where I am selling a product, so just pretend that this is my product and I've got my brand name on my box and everything else, and then someone else decides they can sell the same thing. How is it that what what makes that a violation if they're jumping on your listing? Well, first of all, uh, to really remove hijackers, you need to have a registered trademark. So most people don't really realize this. There is a difference between being in the brand registry and being able to remove hijackers. So just because you are in the brand registry doesn't mean you can remove hijackers. So you can enroll in the brand registry with a pending trademark. So let's say you just filed it and you will be in the brand registry, you will get access to all the features. And most likely you will not have so many hijackers, but if you already have one uh, to, to be able to re remove the hijacker with Amazon, your trademark has to be registered. So that's why it's really important to file it early. Uh, but I mean, you can remove a hijacker when somebody sells uh, a similar product um, using your trademark on 